And there's nothing that is too hard for you to do. And you live there forever and ever and ever. We appreciate your loving kindness for all you have been doing, for all your blessings. Lord, put our life in Jesus' name. Amen. That today, Lord, you will put our life that we may recover from. There's no king and there's no law like you. We appreciate your loving kindness. He said, wait, by strength shall no one prevail. Our strength comes from you. Our power comes from you. Everything we do is only for you. Jesus Christ, today again, my faith is strong in you. And I say thank you and thank you. Lord, wipe away the tears of your children this night. They will see something different in Jesus' name. Amen. Bring shame to Satan. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Sit down, God bless you. The Lord commanded us that we will now pursue, overtake, and recover all. And before you can be able to pursue, overtake, it's not something you just merely think and believe. There's a important decision that you must make before you start to do something. And that's why it is very, very important as a child of God that you want to rest very well and trust in the Lord. Our Lord is good. He said, the former things are gone. Lord, I'm doing a new thing. All things are passed away. Everything are becoming new. And you must understand, since the day of the John the Baptist, kingdom of God suffered the world. Not violent people, not believers. If you come to a church and waiting for anybody, you are waiting in vain. If you come to church and wait for the pastor, you are waiting in vain. If you come to church and wait for Christ, you are waiting in vain. I know that today is a new day that nobody will say it's unaware. Every one of us is aware. So what are the excuses you give for yourself? I believe that I will tell you from now to the end of this convention, convention, don't look at any man, look at the cross. I was praying when God showed me, I was wondering, why did you show me the cross? I told my wife, I said, you know, getting on God showed me the cross. My eyes was gazing on the cross. He said, look at what Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our work. Yes. Look at away from distraction. Look at what Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of your faith. Yes. If you can be able to throw Jesus Christ, there are nothing God cannot do for you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Never forget. The team of the program say recover all. Oh. I don't know if are ready to recover all. Oh. Can you do something for Jesus Christ? <laughs> it is a command that why are people taking it by force? It is a command. But you say, if you are not hot, if you are not cold, and you are not warm, I will spit you out of my mouth. That the God is expecting someone here to be hot. And when you are hard to handle by an enemy, enemy got to run away. You know, God will have us a Christian to the glory of us and we need to look one life. We are imitating people. We are not looking unto God what God has promised to do in our life. And if you can be able to trust Him and look at Him, there are nothing that is impossible. I believe that some of us that are waiting are people are waiting for recovery. And God will open up your eyes to recover in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, what about enemy and story? God will cause you to pursue and be able to recover in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm trying to tell you, it takes a lion heart to take a greater thing. If you are a child of God without a lion heart, it becomes a very, 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 you can't be able to enjoy the best God has given to you. If you really want great thing, that's what's the right thing. You don't want to know what you want to be. It takes a lot of hearts to be able to enjoy the great thing. And God will give all that strong heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Lion heart, they get a lion chain. And there's something that makes a lion to roll. Lion does not roll in a heart. A goat cannot roll like a lion. It is the word of God that makes the lion of God to roll. Once you get acquainted with the word of God, 
you might not be doing that, cannot be run like a lion. And that's the reason why we study to show approval, to show ourselves approval. Do everything possible in this city that you may learn this word, that you may enlighten your eyes of understanding, you may know him more. Praise the Lord. God wants you to know him more and more and more. That you can be able to enjoy the best of life. I said, the word is used for a life of life of Jesus. He said, the former rain, the latter rain is gone. But God is ready to rain. It's time for rain and it's time for restoration. It's your time for the rain and it's time for restoration. And none of us are ready for restoration. Can I hear the bigger amen? Amen. Book of Joy chapter 2. We'll be reading from verse 23 to 27. John chapter 2. We'll be reading from verse 27, 23 to 27. Some of us are in the area. I will restore whatever the enemy are eating. Her Lord is good.
Your faith is one of the most important tools in order for you to recover all. Without faith, it becomes impossible. And that's what I say, you have to understand what is missing is blinding your eyes not to see. It takes faith that lives in you to be able to seek and not pursue or look for what is missing in your life. And if you don't understand or know what is missing in your life, you cannot be able to find them. If I don't know this is what I'm missing, I cannot be able to find it. Or if I understand I'm missing this, then I can be able to get right my perspective on how to get the thing I thought that I am losing or thing that is missing in my life. But all I'm saying that God will be in our eyes that we will be able to find it in Jesus' name. Amen. I said the quality of your blessing is determined by the quality of your faith. If you really want to get blessing from God, the quality of your blessing is determined by the quality of your faith. And if I make you say that you can ask me to destroy your faith, your victory is able to destroy. Because faith is victory. So if you really want to run and get, no matter how you try to cripple you down, using blends, using troubles everywhere, don't give up your faith. Never. Psalm 16 verse 10. Psalm 16. Verse number 10. For thou will not leave my soul in hell, and I will let someone thy holy one to see. If you follow men's reading, leading to be smelled, but if you follow God, you will not be ashamed. God will never allow your soul to be destroyed in hell. You know, what will happen today when people are following crown? This one is, that's why I see some people. A brother is trading on social so business. Everyone wants to go to that business. A brother is trading on social so. Someone, building material may be moving. Clothing may be moving. But God will say, go and be on pure water. He has a reason why he will do. This one may be ready to say, change to this one. Because you know there's a time when this one will be more important. Don't talk about that. There's a time that one will be more important. And that is why you need to focus and follow him. Never you will go back. Trust in him. With men, everything is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And that is why you don't follow men. Because men will disappoint you, don't follow men. And any man you follow God, you follow the life, life, I didn't say right, the life leading. He will lead you to the right path through his life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it takes faith to be able to recover all. Faith comes by hearing. So I do not know what they are listening to. Some of us today have seen things and are listening to fear. Fear coming by hearing, hearing, hearing. So if you really want to live by faith, start hearing the right thing. Yes. There are some people that are waiting for God to hear them. They couldn't be able to get results. You know this is because what they are hearing are destroying the faith of God in them. Yeah. 
you to do all that. If you think there are some situations you find yourself, some of them do not live. But you change the number of situation, you live over. You thought that it's your power because God still lives in you. There are things that are crippled when other people die. You get to that particular situation. God is lifting. God lifted you. Because God still loves you. He said, I am not you with an everlasting love. No. No. I, I can't change my love for you. Your mother can change his love. Your husband can change. Many people, friends can change. God said, I don't care what you have done, I can't change. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have made up my mind, no matter what ever happened, you are still my own. Even when you walk in the dark, you are my own. In the light, you are my own. I am loved you with an everlasting love. And that's why I have the thought of God towards your life. He said, the thought of God, not of evil, to give us what? An unexpected end. I'm not going to be so that God has been thinking about him or him. Because everything about our life is said that God don't care about us. Maybe you are in one sickness for a long time. You talk in your heart that God is not love you. That's why I have this sickness. Don't talk God down in your life. You want to speak about this of God in your life. God of men that can boast of good. David was a man that always spoke to God and boast of God. Even when David was falling, he remembered to boast in God. Can you be in the midst of troubles? Even when the, all the troubles are happening, the troubles that are coming to the tragedies in Nigeria, can you trust God? Because you are not dependent on the system of Nigeria. But if God will supply all our needs according to. Is it according to the Nigeria budget? Is it according to your father's standard? Is it according to the capital in your head? He said, I'm going to bless it according to my own standard. That's why he says some people, people didn't thought they can build a house in their life. Hey, I never thought I would build a house. It's like the man that's dead inside you. I didn't know I can own a car. I'm the one that owns this children. Yes, it is inside you. He takes his car with the point of view to recover. It's going to see the invisible. You can do the impossible. May God open up our eyes to see the invisible. So that we can be able to do the impossible in Jesus' name. Amen. If you couldn't see it, it's not impossible. And that is why you need to run to obtain. Don't allow anything to distract you when you are running. Hey, that's one thing I know in life. That in this way, God is not calling you somebody, call you alone. Remember what I said here? I will continue saying it to the end of this program. That God is showing me how I never since I was preaching. I know I can see cross, but today, when He showed me a cross of Jesus Christ, I didn't really understand. It's not like He said, remain focused. Remain focused. When I was lying down praying from, from I think from nine o'clock, even if it's twelve o'clock, someone was going to call me to wake me up. I knew that I got to I got to go to the house. I to the I said, why well, are they showing the cross? There's a reason why I'm going show the cross. Because the reason why I'm here, because of someone that died on the cross of Calvary for you. And if I look at human being, I will miss the cross. If you listen to what people will tell, say about you in the church, you miss the cross. If you listen to the argument of men in this day, you miss the cross. There are some people that are going to write down. I said, what is it, friends? He said, a capacity for someone to have effect in behavior, in character. He said, in decision making in anyone's life. That is different. You have effect. In your life, in your decision, in your behavior, in your character, in your body. Your body, people will look down on your body, but when Jesus Christ show up in your life, your body will change. Today, your body will change in Jesus' name. And the way you value things will change. You need 
weakness. And that's why when you look at this, they find out salt, light, they have great influence. Don't allow that place to cover you. I will write you something about I'm going to say something. Say, if you ask light, do you know what is called darkness? Light is that I never see darkness. Because constant conversation about that place will make darkness will continue rolling, that light will not touch you. So darkness will not allow light to show. Because you need light to show what? Darkness will do what? You do what? So darkness continue to make sure if light is going to one, darkness will disappear. Because you know, if light shows up, it is disappear. You are the light of the world, and you cannot walk in dark. You are the soul of the world. You cannot be testless. You are the one that gives other people the best they need. Because you are not the manager of the company, you are not too rich. You discover you are saying, I'm nobody. You are somebody. Tell someone, I am somebody. Say, imagine me. Uh, we are poor. We are Who told you? If you don't know, you are pregnant with a family. You are pregnant with a treasure. One day is the day you deliver the strategy, and people will come around and want to glorify God. This is not someone who will be pregnant to treasure in Jesus' name. Yes, yes because the pregnant woman will carry the baby. She's the only one that knows what to carry. You know, sometimes when she's carrying a baby, scam will tell the woman that you are carrying a baby here. Why she's carrying a baby born? That's what I want to show you. I am God. I am on the side and on the golden God. The woman will be thinking, I have a man, family, a child. The point of delivery will become a baby born. You can't change it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why I want to remind us, don't doubt him. And I believe God is going to do anything in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 16, I have said it earlier. Faith is a covenant access to spiritual power of God. That's what faith is all about. Covenant access to spiritual power of God. Remember, I told you earlier, if you are not able to destroy your faith, your victory is already destroyed. So no matter what time you see the pressure, the challenges, don't allow anything to let you know that this is end of life. Ah. There's a time in life when I don't like say, I don't know, nothing, everything becomes tasteless to me. I will buy a process, no matter how expensive they be, to wear it. So why are you like this very soon? What are you doing here? One day I thank God. I said, wow, of course. Remember what God told you many years ago? You know, God declared a thing before it went to pass. If God says something about it, don't play with it. If God says you are going to do something, you know, you know the reason why he tells you that because you know some challenges that are going to count down what the money will come. If you can stick with the prophecy of God in your life, you cannot be defeated. I said, God, you didn't tell me I was going to die on time. So why am I afraid? I can't be afraid. I don't want to hear a voice there. Different from what I used to hear. I said, I want to hear more. No the audible. You know, it's exciting when God will want to talk to you. Many children come and think you don't need to miss if God is not speaking. People don't know it's only a prophet. God is doing anything to hear his voice. Everybody. But you know sometimes we have grown so fast. That we can't hear him. We are not paying attention to his voice. There's a different meaning of talking to you. you imagine when you come to a family of five and you tell me that my daddy cannot talk to me. Is it possible? Hey, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Don't me water. Don't bring him sleep. Your father can talk to you. You can talk back to your father. I will tell you, I say, my daddy, you should have to talk to me, daddy, you want to buy bread. She will stand at the door and say, Every day you try it, you will hear the wine. Because that particular thing is never a good thing. After you stand at the door, we can't come in. Here. And she said, You are not terrified. When we are small, we want to tell our dad from one and one and one and one. We are not afraid. Whether daddy is coming or not, daddy is saying, yes. uh, I will put the same which will not come to speak tomorrow. You are not afraid of speaking. Your father will look at you like this. See how you are standing one day. In your mind, you have two things. Whether that be is poor or rich, that is coming to pay my school fees. And what you're telling that is the quick though, I'm paying my I see that I don't want to school or what you pay my 
is born. The doctors will be waiting for the car. If the baby did not cry, he hear a white cry, cry. And that they used to feel on the body. The baby is going to go up. Go up, he's not crying. They will say, wah, 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 wah. If you don't act by faith, it becomes impossible. 
enjoy the blessings of God. So you are expected to act by faith. Praise the Lord. So if I didn't want to recover all, I must act by faith. Yes, we are not down. Get up and ask yourself. You look at it, put, it, put away everything. Get up and go to praise God. I said something here years ago. A brother that is shocked, born to action. I want to say that it's a very big testimony. Say that they are not dying. So what? A man that has been washed up, born to die, born to push that they pack, they pack, so no pain, and nothing was out. You see a young man crying like a baby. Me, I don't have what to give you. I tell you what I'm doing. I said, can you do one thing from ZS? He said, call my love tomorrow morning. Pack away everything that has been born by fire. You have a small one say, you don't want to make your account and you sell at me. You just accept it in the name. If you want to repent, be shot. Put the cap upon everything. The phone and people were shouting, ah, it's gone. I want to go to the house. I want to go to the house. Next one week, he made the count that before they excuse him, do you know what he said? This guy is into cons. How is it possible? He's good to go to ashes. I thought the story is with you. People go to college with the day, I didn't see how fast. That I will be the week is so hot, I can't complain. A young man came to the one thing I said, bro, you don't need this shop. One is saying, there's nothing here. How about it? It's only God. You know, we'll laugh. From there, he comes and says, this is God's glory is in You know, sometimes when God tells you something, people believe they are worse than God. I remember the young man was going, is it two years ago? I said, you want to go to the village? He said, hey, with your car. I said, if you go to the village with your car, you will not have a car in your life again. Okay. He said, ah, if you go to the village with your car, you will not use car again. A woman, she's waiting for you. I was coming, she was coming from Lagos. We came to uh, uh, Abba Johnson yesterday, she saw. They called her and she said, no, come please come, take this into my mother. You want to go to your place before you leave and buy your packet, maybe 10, 10 miles. I'm not going to that Use leg and enter. When you are gone, go and carry your food. But if you carry that tire, enter your compound, you carry it. That's the end of the for you. He said that if I need to obey you, I don't do one. Obedient is better than was. You know, some people don't want to give you, unless someone can want to manipulate you. If people are going to tell you the truth, open it and go your way. The only thing that makes me to get happy when I tell you to do God said, do something. I ask you, did I ask you for more? He said, no. Did I ask you to give anything? He said, no. If you like to obey, if you don't like, you don't do what? It's not my business. A young man walked to me yesterday. I kept that day yesterday. The guy said, you very well. He just looked to me and said, I don't, I was even afraid when he came. Because I was thinking that's where I need to start in the temple again here. You see what they say? You spoke to my sister years back. When he said we are going to answer. He told my sister not to marry somebody's husband. My sister defied that particular prophecy and married somebody's husband. And the man divorced his wife. The woman is divorced when I use someone to use a chair against her and the woman died. You know, some people say, don't mind them. A sister told me yesterday. She really did she walked in the left hand. He said, take this back. Okay, the message of me a long time, so. But if he said, take this back, he gave the man to want to marry me and say that you are an idol worshiper. The man was coming out and said, so I just the boy the pastor said, don't mind you. Me that I do, I do time cry. I do money cry, I do this one. I was laughing. When the lady was asking the question, I said, what are you doing? Say your husband loves money more than everything. Anyone that loves money more than God, is he not an idol? Now, if a man can use a knife to kill his wife on the bed, this is two times the man has gone to his wife and complaining. 